everybody. Uh, Uncle Smith back again with another cocktail. Hope everybody's still continue, uh, practicing their social distancing. Uh, I've been practicing mine clearly with my barber because my hair is all kinds of wild. My beard is misshapen. Uh, but today we're going to do something nice and light, uh, something that's a little bit more of an appetite. Um, something that I like to have. We're going to have a Negroni. If you haven't already been able to tell, I have all three components. I've got the sweet red vermouth, I've got Campari, and of course gin. Um, you can also do this with a Boulevardier. Just switch out the gin for uh, any type of whiskey or bourbon that you might like. Um, of course, I'm a Tanqueray guy, as you can see, so that's the gin that we're going to be using today. Um, first things first, uh, I like to keep mine funky, just as most people know, so I will start off with bitters. A lot of people don't have bitters inside of any of their Negronis. Uh, some do if they're just trying to make their own unique spin, and which is what we're going to do today. So I do about four dashes of those. On top of that, we go ahead and give ourselves three-fourths of an ounce of sweet vermouth. give ourselves another three-fourths of an ounce on our Campari. And last but not least, give ourselves an ounce of our gin. And I add the, uh, the bitters there just because I know this drink to be a very high tannin type of uh, kind of aromatic and uh, bitter type of cocktail. I know this to be a thing. So I definitely like to uh, add just a few bitters here and there. Um, with this cocktail in particular, some people shake it. Uh, traditionally, you want to go ahead and stir this. Um, and that just kind of helps to melt it down, kind of have a little bit more of an even flavor. Whereas like if you were to uh, shake it up, you'd have broken up ice chips in your shaker and it'd just be a watered down disaster of a classic cocktail. So in order to avoid that, we stir it. Of course, we strain it into our rocks glass. Some people like to uh, keep their drinks uh, straight up. Uh, the thing about having those things straight up is so it just doesn't water down again your classic cocktail. Um, me, I like to add a little bit of ice. So what I do is just add a few cool cubes to uh, keep everything cool. And of course, traditionally you have an entire orange slice sometimes to go along with your Negroni or spritzes or anything like that. I'm big on more so just the rind. Um, I love having uh, just kind of that citric, uh, citric uh, kind of just the aromas and the flavors without kind of adding more to it than I need to. So you just zest that over the top here, rim it within your glass, stick that in, and a tiny pinch of sea salt at the very top. That salty finish kind of helps to keep the mouth a little watery because you're working with a very high tannin drink. You just want something that kind of leaves a little bit of wateriness on the back end of your tongue. So it's kind of an interesting science. But at any rate, cheers to everyone. Enjoy your Negronis for the day.